dating can be hard for anyone, including for people with cerebral palsy. You might struggle with confidence or putting yourself out there. You might not know how to meet people or how to work out whether they're right for you. You might be worried about how they'll react to you having cerebral palsy. Everyone looks for different qualities in people they might want to date. And it's best to find people who treat you with respect and who make you feel important, valued and loved. And who you can make feel important, valued and loved. People meet in all sorts of ways, through friends, work, social groups or school, or online. Once you've met, you have to decide whether you want to go on a date. Some people like to take their time and think through all the factors. Others might know what they're looking for and decide quickly. When you have found someone that you would like to date, think about planning a date the right way for both of you. Every first date is different. Not all dates lead to romantic relationships. Sometimes you'll form a close connection or relationship with someone. Other times you won't. Some will last a long time, others a short time. Relationships can also change over time. Dating someone is a bit like starting a new friendship. You spend some time with a person and get to know them. You'll find out what they're interested in and what values, beliefs and ideas you might have in common. Being open and honest is the best approach. Communicating about your cerebral palsy in a realistic and positive way can support successful relationships. After dating someone, you may decide to form a romantic relationship with them. Remember, dating is for everyone, for people of all sexual orientations, gender identities and abilities, and people with cerebral palsy. Connections you make through dating, where there is respect, consent, positive communication and equity can be great for your health and happiness. If you need some advice and support on how to best communicate with people that you are interested in and how your interests, needs and abilities can be supported, reach out. Talk to your family, friends or health professionals to help you through dating and relationships.